Long time no see. Sean Don here. A happy New Year's. Glad to be back making videos. I know it's been a while. Been caught up with training and some other tasks that have been on my plate. Uh, you know, typical bullshit excuses uh, I always have. But regardless, my New Year's resolution is to post at least one video a week for the entirety of this year. If I ever miss, just like blow me up on social media and say, What the f Sean? Where are the videos at? So go ahead and call me on my bullshit. All right, let's keep it, keep it real. I like to keep it real around here. But anyways, I thought it'd be a great opportunity for me to post a progression video for my first video so you guys could see how I kind of came up through the sport in an effort to kind of offer some inspiration and motivation for you guys to start 2018 off right. Here are the things that I wanted to get across with this video uh, in, in an effort to make it a little bit more meaningful for you guys. So number one, obviously, progression takes time. This is a, a six year transformation video, if you will. That's a long time. I'd say over the course of those six years, I probably took anywhere from 30 to 40,000 throws. And I have to say that's on the low end. That's like if I took 100 throws a week for those six years, I think. I don't know, my, my two years in Minnesota, I was definitely over 100 throws a week. And then number two, uh, obviously it's gonna take a lot of determination and persistence to uh, undergo the sort of transformation with your technique and your performances. So all the throws that are shown are kind of more or less the highlights uh, when technique is looking good. So yeah, so I took 30 to 40,000 throws and I think I only showed probably 30 to 40. So I showed a small, small percentage of all the work that I put in my career. I know it's easy to think that it's all, you know, rainbows and pot, pots of gold. I don't know if that's a thing, but obviously it's easy to, to get caught up in thinking that, you know, every day is a good day and all my throws are great during practice. But the reality is, like I said, almost 40,000 throws. I couldn't even begin to count the, the amount of throws that I've taken in my career that I didn't like, that didn't feel good, that looked shitty, that I dumped, that I boarded, all that stuff. Like I said, it takes a lot of determination and persistence to, to transform your technique and your performance and kind of take it to that next level. Many times my patience and will were tested. There were many times I was wondering, what the fuck am I doing? I still kind of think that every now and then, but uh, I'm definitely a lot more uh, happy to be doing what I'm doing, even, even on, on the bad days. Just keep in mind that everyone has their ups and downs, even elite athletes. Uh, uh, like myself and, and all the other uh, hammer throwers and shot putters uh, here at the training center. You gotta take the good with the bad. Uh, you have to you have to weather the bad times and, and cherish the good times when they come around. Like Judd Logan says, be the man in the middle. And I wanna say probably the biggest thing that I wanna get across with this video is, for the love of God, listen to me, for the love of God, stick to one motherfucking technique. Stick to one motherfucking I think at least once per year I tried to switch to the four turn freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, until I finally stuck with it my senior year. It wasn't until December of 2014 that I decided to to really commit to the four turns thanks to uh, my buddy Matias Tiala kind of kind of pushing me along. Yeah, who knows where I would have been if I had started four turning from like my freshman year or at least my sophomore year. Uh, maybe I would be farther along, but at the same time. That logic goes both ways and maybe I'd be stuck at 60 meters. I don't know. I'd like to think that I'd probably be a little bit farther along than I am now. But yeah, just, just pick one technique. Uh, myself now as a coach, I would always say pick one technique and stick with it no matter what through thick and thin, work it out because you'll thank yourself later on, whereas I kept kicking myself in the shins. That's a saying, I don't fucking know. But uh, yeah, I just spent a lot of time struggling and kind of doubting myself on my technique. And I think that time could have been better spent working on one technique and getting better at that one technique rather than going back and forth. But you know, so if you do decide to go up to four turns, make sure you try to find a coach to help you out and kind of push you and keep you confident through the hard times because when you do try to switch to four turns it does not come easy it is a totally different throw than a three turn yeah i don't know i always made my best progress when i had a coach there with me uh, my first year at minnesota and then now that i'm at the training center my progress is skyrocketing and honestly the last thing that i think really helped me progress to where i am today is like a lot of dumb luck honestly that's that's all there is to it uh it seemed like a lot of the time i was just making the right decisions at the right time without any sort of clue as to what the fuck i was doing and uh yeah i don't know i think when you work hard and you really do everything you can to achieve a goal things kind of fall into place if you will everything kind of works out for the best no matter what and it's easy for me to say that because i'm here so um i know there are a lot of people out there who are probably questioning what they're doing and why they're doing it but i promise you if you stick with it eventually one day you'll look back and you'll be like oh shit. I stuck with this thing or I did that thing and I'm glad I did because now I'm here, whatever that might be. Eventually one day you'll look back and you'll be glad you did it. 
So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you wanna see more throwing updates from me, I post on social media pretty frequently, uh, especially on Instagram. Go follow me there, at SD Throws. Uh, so go check me out. Lastly, if you guys did enjoy, feel free to share the video, tag me in a post, and I will be sure to pick one of you guys and shout you guys out in next week's video. All right, thanks for watching. Peace out. See you guys next week.